This is no game. Titanium power! Hey guys, I'm here with Rhett Fisher, the Titanium Ranger, Power Rangers, Lightspeed Rescue. How are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm doing great. We're here at YesterCon here in California, sunny California. We're both from California. I don't know where you're from originally. Cali boys. Are you? Cali. Well, not originally, but I grew up here, so went to high school out here. Where'd you go? I went to Westlake High School. Well, I Westlake? played against Westlake in, in high school in football. Get out of here. I did. I went to Bishop Montgomery, and we played against oh you guys. Oh, my God. You guys are good. We were good. But let's talk. Let's we're better, though. Right? We beat you guys. Well, it was like a we'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. Um, let me ask you this. Are you still doing your music thing? I am, yeah. Still doing my music thing. I uh, got a studio up in uh, Burbank and getting artists in there and developing artists and writing. And it's been good. How is that? This is your second convention ever. And then we've actually interviewed you both times. Yeah, yeah, I know. Boom. Hashtag. Uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's been amazing. Uh, Power Morphicon was my first one. This is the second one, Yestercon, and it's, it's been really amazing meeting all the fans. Did you ever think in your lifetime that Power Rangers would be the draw that it is now? Like, it's back again. It's like, this is almost like 1993, 94 all over again. Yeah, it really is. And I, I don't know if it's Netflix or what. I don't know what happened, but it just really lately, like, and I've been getting recognized a lot lately, which is weird. Because I, be I haven't been recognized, you know, in like 10 years or something like that. Besides your band stuff, of course. Well, yeah, but not for Power Rangers. Like, kids. Like new generation kids are are starting to get are starting to watch it, you know. And then people that I know are having kids, and they're calling me, "Hey, can you send like a video? My my buddy's having like my kid's having a birthday. Can you send like a little video or something? Just stuff like that is so cool, you know. It's like, oh man, it makes me feel it makes me feel good that I can still be you know a part of their lives in that way. You know, it's funny, Rhett, um, for, for kind of being out of the spotlight for a little bit, I've seen you do the morph a couple times now. Is that something you, like, practice before, like, coming to these conventions? <laughs> like, in the mirror of, like, I know somebody's going to ask me. I got to do it. Uh, well, I grew up being a dancer. Oh, okay. And so, like, the choreography just gets locked in. And I, I call it choreography. Uh, so, yeah, I just, once I, once I learned it, it just kind of locked in. And then doing it all the time on the show, it's like muscle memory. So I don't even really... That's awesome. Really have to think about it anymore. You didn't even forget it then. No, it's just been with me. You know, I um, at San Diego Comic Con, I just talked to the current executive producer of Power Rangers, Chip Lynn, and he said that it's definitely possible that they're thinking not this season in Dino Charge, but in seasons in the future, they're bringing other Rangers. They're possibly bringing other Rangers back. Would you be interested? Spoiler alert. Well, listen, yeah. they, the seasons haven't even made air yet. They're not. They have, they're still in the future. Development, we'll say. I don't know if there's anyone who would not be interested in that. You know what's funny, though? If I would have asked you that like 10 years ago, that might have been a different yeah. answer. That is true. That is weird, right? Yeah. I think it's just that the time has been... Like, I look back on it now, and that was such a different time in my life. And I, I look back, and I'm like, oh, I was like a kid back then. So I, it's such a cool thing. But at the time, you're like a cocky kid, and you're like, oh, man. You know, I'm good. Like, whatever. But... Especially meeting the fans and stuff and seeing the impact that it has, it makes you want to do that, you know? And you're a, gi uh, you're, you're a giant, by the way. I don't know how tall are you. 6'1". Uh, you're 6'1"? I feel like you're taller than 6'1". I got some boots on. I oh, got you. Maybe, I don't know. Your cast two in these boots. Your cast was like the tallest Power Ranger cast of I all time. I think so. Right? Yeah, I mean, Sean, how can you, no one's taller than that guy. I think I was telling you, he got cast first and then they had to cast all tall people, otherwise it would have looked crazy. Yeah, Allison's like my height, I feel like, yeah. and then um, Re uh, Reggie's even pretty tall, right? Or not uh, Reggie, uh, uh, Keith. Keith. There you go. Yeah, Keith is tall, yeah. So you guys had a pretty pretty big cast. I heard it was a problem filming with you guys like that. Really? Yeah, that's what I, that's what, uh, I think Allison told me that. I would not be surprised, actually. Um, Allison with her, with her bum leg. She filmed half the season like this. Why? What happened? Uh, she broke her ankle. You didn't know about this? Oh, oh my gosh. This is crazy. We were stunt, doing some stunts in the gym, and she fell into a pit. And it, well, she jumped into a pit, but it had no foam in it. She didn't look before she leaped. Bones sticking out of her ankle. No way. Yeah, I, I carried her back to her car. We drove to the hospital, and the next day we were doing the shots for the intros of the show. You know, like where we walk around the corner, and, and so half the season um, she's she's like this. I don't know if you can see my legs. And she's sitting on a box, like one knee is on a box, really? and the other one's standing. And then she had like a stunt girl that would look like her from the back, 
instead of kind of walk away. This was half the season this was like this? Pretty much, yeah. Wow. Yeah. No yeah. That's pretty crazy. Who was the biggest prankster on your cat in your set? Oh, Keith, for sure. Really? Yeah, he's hilarious. I thought it was, uh, I would have assumed you would have said um, Ron Roger. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? That's, <laughs> he's, he's a good prankster. Keith, Keith was pretty good, too, though. Keith liked to pick on everyone. Funny, any, got any funny stories about that? Um, hmm. That you can tell that are, you know. Man, not that I can tell on the camera, because we he was pretty dirty, if you will. Uh, but we would always try to make each other laugh. And the, the best part of the pranks, we're always trying to make each other laugh while we were filming. So we know we're trying to be so serious, we're like, like you'd be staring at the person's eyes, and you just, you just see someone's mouth just go like for a second, and then it would be like, oh man, there was this one scene me and Monica uh, played Mrs. Fairweather. I had the biggest crush on her. She was cute. She's hot. Yeah. Uh, we did this scene like 30 times because we couldn't stop laughing. Really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. You down to take some fan questions? Yeah, definitely. Great. Hello, um, my name is Anthony, and um, my question for Red Fisher is this. What was it like, and how did it feel to be part of Power Rangers overall? Thank you for taking my question, and may the power protect you always. Cool. I think his name was Andrew. I had a hard time understanding. Andrew, thanks for your question. Uh, I guess I would say, how was the experience? How was the experience overall? It was like nothing you could ever imagine or recreate because it was such an original thing that happened. Being filming Power Rangers is like so incredible, and like meeting the cast and learning all these stunts, and every every day was a new adventure. Really, is kind of what I would say. Um, and the legacy of that living on through all the years is something that, I mean, it's just like a small little family of rangers that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, you guys are like a fraternity. It is, yeah. It's like a frat house. It's like the real world or something. Um, and it's getting bigger and bigger and we're meeting new people and we're bringing them in and it's just, it's just really cool. And now I feel like one of the old dudes where I remember back in the day I was like one of the new guys. And so it's, it's cool to see it all come full circle. So the experience has been amazing. Um, hello, Rhett Fisher. Um, my name is Jason Ferguson, aka Jason Ranger. And I'm also part of the Gold King Ranger team. And my question is obviously for you. Um, now, we as fans recognise you as the Power Rangers exclusive Ranger. But were you recognised by a fan during filming or shortly after filming? And if, was there anything, you know, was there any funny stories behind that? Um, like all road encounters, or was it just like you're casually, oh, cool, it's, you're a Power Ranger kind of moment? Uh, so, thank you for taking time to have um, answer my question, and this is Jason Ranger signing out. Very cool, Jason, thanks for your question. Um, these are so awesome, by the way. They're gonna be side by side with you when we play. Oh my gosh, well, thank you so much, you guys. This is like amazing. Uh, that's a really good question. When I was on the show, I did have some interesting encounters, if you will. I had a, a lady in a minivan run me off the road one time. Wait, knowing that it was you? Yeah. Whoa. Well, I didn't know what was going on. I was just driving, and, and she ran me off the road and opened up the minivan door, and there was a kid sitting in the back in, like, a child seat, and the mom was driving, and she goes, Johnny, it's the Titanium Ranger! It's the Titanium Ranger! And Johnny looked over and was like, <laughs> like, he didn't care. The mom was like freaking out, but ran me off the road, and I just had to laugh. I'm like, oh man, because I was pissed at first, and I was like, oh, this is that's that's crazy. So that was like probably my craziest experience. Um, probably the best fan experience ever was the Make a Wish Foundation. We did a Make a Wish with the kid, and at Universal Studios took him there, and because we were doing like this live show at the time, so that was like the most meaningful thing that I've probably ever done in my life. Um, so because of Power Rangers, that happened. So yeah, the fan experiences are what make it so amazing being a Power Ranger. That's very cool, actually. That's a very yeah. cool story. Hey, Rhett. This is Lance, a.k.a. Admin Bulk, from the Facebook fan page, More Phenomenal. 
I have two questions for you, actually. The first one is, at what point did you realize that you were the first American-only ranger? And the second is, you ever considered getting that giant cobra <laughs> tattoo on your back from the show? That's all for today. First, have a comment. great day. Lance is a friend of the show's. He was wearing, have you, did you notice the shirt? He was wearing, like, the tuxedo, like, T-shirts. Oh, wow. It's pretty boss. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty boss. That's pimp right there. I like the shirt. If you're right here, or I don't know which side you're going to be on. What's up, man? What's up? Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to answer your question, thank you for your question, number one. To answer your question, um, I will never get that cobra tattoo ever, ever, ever. Because putting that on every morning was the worst. We get up at like 4 a.m. every morning, I have to put that on. And I just decided not to shower because it was just too crazy. To but at this point, you'd only have to put it on once. That's true. But what form? Should it be all the way up, do you think? Or should we just a lower back? Well, you don't want the lower tramp back. Stamp. That's tramp stamp. Tramp stamp, right? stamp snake. <laughs> yeah, I don't, a mini one on your lower back. <laughs> yeah, we, that'll work. Next, more for Connie. Oh, He'll man. donate money to uh, some charity and he'll do it, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I, I totally forgot what the other question was. <laughs> I don't remember what the other question was either. Um, it was, uh, wait, uh, <laughs> what was that question again? Do you just want to watch it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got I got stuck on the cobra. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, the first time I realized I was the first all-American ranger was um, shortly after I got the part. Um, and when I got to set, the director of my kind of opening series was uh, Jonathan Zacker, who was like the executive producer also at the time, which was really cool because he directed my episodes and really didn't direct anything else that season. Really? Yeah. So like having him come on, everyone's like, oh, Jonathan's coming on to direct. And I'm like, okay. So he kind of told me this was the situation with like the exclusive, you know, no Sentai counterpart Ranger. So, you know, you got a big responsibility and, and there's a lot of pressure. Um, he made me feel scared to death. <laughs> So thanks, Jonathan. No, but he was awesome, and yeah, and so I knew I knew pretty early on. Was your cast pretty accepting of the fact that there was going to be just an exclusive ranger? Was that taken as just like, oh, it's just a six ranger? It's kind of the trope that Power Rangers do. Uh, I don't know if they knew that, really? honestly. Yeah, because that wasn't like a thing that we were. I was talking about with them, and I didn't know at the time how significant that was, because he told me that at the time, and I was like okay like I don't know what that means because right. I didn't really understand that there was a whole like Japanese side and this and that and so as I started shooting and as I started you know going online and seeing the fandoms reactions and stuff I started learning how impactful that was going to be um, not till later though that's awesome though yeah titanium ranger um you excited about this 2017 movie oh yeah I'm so excited you're gonna be there for the premiere I just want to be an extra like carrying a tray or like serving someone a drink. Hey, would that be awesome? It would be kind of cool. You like know, all the extras were old Power Rangers. That would be well. That would be pretty cool. Just that would be like not like real parts, just extras. So you could, it's like little Easter eggs, like everywhere you look. What are, enough of us now that could happen? There's like over a hundred of you guys, and we would do that too. Like not all of you. Just yeah. <laughs> well, not all of us. Well, let me no, ask. No names. Did you? Yeah. Did you uh, <laughs> see that Power Rangers uh, reboot thing with Adi Shankar? That really adult themed one. Yeah, I did. I thought it was really cool. Did you? Yeah. You liked it? I know. I, I'm scared to say that. No, well, you shouldn't be. Because I know some. I mean, there's a lot of like people are like, oh no, that's this and that, and I'm like, you know, anything that's bringing light to Power Rangers, anything they made it out of love for Power Rangers, so I'm like, I'm cool with that. You know, whatever anyone wants to make. Tons of people are doing stuff and different fan things, so it's kind of like. That's their interpretation of it, and I think that's cool. So if you have enough money, hire Rhett Fisher for the Titanium Ranger fanfic yeah. movie that he'll shoot with you, right? There you go. Done. When uh, can we see you again, Rhett? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not really sure. I'm going to Mars tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out this Power Morphicon situation, so hopefully I can make it. Well, you got a year to figure it out, my friend. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but yeah, you'll see me around. You'll see me around. I'm working on music every day. Um, you should check out some of my artists I'm working with. Uh, Skylar Stecker. She's got a number 11 song on the Billboard charts right now. Yeah, we wrote that song. And this other girl, Diamante's number three on the Hot Singles charts. So we're just kind of developing artists. And I guess that's the best way is you can follow me on Twitter, which is the Rhett Fisher, or Instagram, which is the Rhett Fisher, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. All that good stuff. Follow him. Find find his musical artist and find his music and find Rhett possibly at next year's Morphicon. Yeah. Not holding you at anything, but maybe. 
Yeah, I think so. We'll see what happens. Awesome. Good talking to you. Thanks for taking those fan questions. Man. It was great. Appreciate it.